All right, Dr. Jen joins us now with a question that you're asking about online. How do I know if I have a weak pelvic flora? And that came from J to H. This is a question so many yeah. women have. I mean, after I had a baby, it was one of yes. the first things I was worried about. <laughs> Particularly important after pregnancy, but potentially any woman, because a little bit of anatomy here, when you talk about the pelvic floor muscles, if you think about the female external genital anatomy as a stoplight, right? Red, yellow, green. The pelvic floor muscles literally go around that like a figure eight and like a almost like a hammock, and we call them the levator muscles. If they get stretched out, which can happen with age, it can happen with smoking, it can happen with obesity, it can happen after childbirth, you can start to have symptoms of pelvic floor weakness or pelvic floor dysfunction, which generally present or manifest with bladder issues and bowel issues. Does having multiple children affect it? Yeah, it increases the risk because again, just think of that hammock, right? Carrying a full pregnancy just stretches that out. DeMarco right now is very <laughs> happy. I've so much about that. He does, does not have to do like it. Some women minutes. tee themselves. It's not yes, on purpose. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> can we move on? <laughs> we sure can. And you know what? You handled that but very well. But it's important. Well. It's very yes, important. So yeah. I, I important. agree and I respect it. Your prescription for wellness. Okay. Uh, you guys know what the number one cancer killer of women and men is? Mm. Lung cancer. Um, I literally, women do not know that. They always think it's breast cancer. Lung cancer is number one. So there is a screening test for lung cancer. Um, and these are the recommendations. Again, women and men um, that should really know about this. If you have what's called a 20 pack year or more smoking history, so that's the number of years you smoked times the number of packs per day that you smoked it, uh, you qualify if you smoke now or have quit in the last 15 years, you're a candidate for screening for lung cancer with a CAT scan. Even and if, if you quit 15 years absolutely. ago? Absolutely, and if you're between 50 and 80 years of age. So again, this is a specific type of CT scan or CAT scan. X-rays do not detect lung cancer. I hear that myth and misconception all the time. So if you meet any of those criteria, talk to your healthcare provider about getting screened. So how does a doctor diagnose it if you can't tell? With, with the an CAT X-ray. scan. With yeah, the CAT you have to get, you have to get the screening lung CAT scan. Okay, all right, Dr. Jim, we're you learning bet. a lot. Oh. And folks, we would love to hear from you, so hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions at ABCGMA3. My stomach is growling. <laughs> I'm starving. I knew you guys could hear it. We're, just, we're talking about weed pelvic floors, and he's hungry. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.